Time now for today's Math in the News. All right, so this year we know that there is a big election going on, and that's going to be coming up in about two weeks. And a lot of the things in the news and on TV, any social media that you look at, it's probably very hard to escape polling. And a lot of times they hear, well, you know, this person is ahead in the poll and this person is here in the poll. And then we have margin of error. And what does that mean? So we decided we take a little bit of a look at this and election year, what is polling? So a poll makes it possible to gauge public opinion by surveying a relatively small but representative group of people within a given population. The smaller group is known as a sample. So if we have a big population, we can't, so let's imagine this is 100,000 people. We can't talk to all 100,000 people in a given time that we need to. So we're gonna take a sample of that 100,000 people. So the population is everyone, the sample is part of that population. So we need to have an accurate sample. So that's the next thing. When pulling the sample from a population, the sample must be representative of the entire population, not just a few. So this way we can see the target population, a representative sample shows people from each different parts of the population, where an unrepresentative sample is showing only two different parts of the entire population. So you wanna get an accurate sample the best you can. Next, we go on to mean, median, mode. Something that a lot of kids are already aware of if you're in upper elementary, junior high school especially. So before you go into statistics, which usually takes place during high school and college, you need to know how a sample, a population, learn about mean, median, and mode. So the mean is simply the average of the numbers. The median, think about the median in a road, it's in the middle of the road, so the median is the middle number. The mode, just think about MO most often. So the number that shows up most often. So quickly again, because a lot of kids get confused by it. Mean is the average. Median, the one in the middle. And mode is the most often. All right. So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and work on one of these problems. So we're going to do mean, median, and mode with all of these. The first thing you want to do is take all of the numbers in the data set and put them in order from least to greatest. So we know that we have a three is the smallest, then we have a four, and I'm just going to underline those so I know I use them. We only have one five, one six, one seven, so I'll put a five, a six, and a seven. I know I have an eight, and now I have three tens. So I need to write down 10 three different times. Even though it's the same number, we need to represent it as many times as it's listed in the set. So the first thing we can do is the mean, which once again is the average. So if you have a calculator, by all means use that. It's simply a tool to make things easier. But I think we can go ahead and work this in our head. So we've got 10, 20, 30. Here we can make another 10, that's 40, 50, and then 13 makes 63. So we know that the whole thing adds up to 63. Now, one thing I would caution you about is if you're using a calculator, you want to probably do it one more time because I myself, and I'm sure everybody else has, if you're putting numbers into a calculator quickly, sometimes you might hit the wrong one. So just double check it to make sure that you've got 63. We need the average of the total divided by the number of set a data set. So we have 9. So we're going to go 63 divided by 9 is going to be equal to 7. So 7 is the mean. Now the median is the number in the middle. So we can see that we have three numbers in the beginning here and we can take three numbers off each end. Now we have three numbers in the middle, one there and one there, so the number in the middle is 7. So the median is also 7. Now the mode, once again, most often. So we can see this is once, 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 three of them. So 10 is going to be the mode. So there we go. That is the mean, median, and mode. Just a little something to get you ready for when you get into a higher level math class such as statistics. That is today's Math in the News.